Hey what's up guys it's Rich and welcome to another video. This one is going to be a 50 gun streak here on drone. I'm playing 6v6 or at least you know 6v4 at the moment. It was a bit of a shame that people left because maybe I could have got a little bit of a longer gun streak but I'm playing on drone I get 11,000 points which is a lot of points even if you're playing on a map like Hijacked or Nuketown getting 11,000 points is uh, quite the achievement so to get it on drone on 6v6 it's a little bit mental because usually the action isn't you know fast paced enough uh, to get that sort of score in a match so getting it is uh, it's pretty crazy so hopefully you guys enjoy this and uh, the gun streak ended because the game ended and I was shooting someone which is a shame because my current top gun streak on this game is 50 so you know if the game went on for an extra like half a second I would have been able to beat my gun streak just because as the game finished uh, I was shooting my man and uh, I didn't have enough time just to drop him. So uh, I'll start out with the M8A1 but I have to pick up another weapon because, uh, well actually another two weapons I believe, an MP7 and a target finder M27 which is actually pretty darn good and uh, the reason I had to pick them up is because I'm not actually using scavenger this game. I went through the whole game thinking I was using scavenger, I was looking for scav packs, I was trying to throw more than one C4. Uh, which didn't work and nearly got me killed at one point but let me just quickly apologize if you can hear my voice again i'm still not completely healed uh, i did a video yesterday I, I missed a few days like i took a few days off from doing videos because my my whole face and head was just aching and it was just awful so i didn't want to do a commentary but I've, you know i feel a little bit better now and uh you know this cold is starting to wear away and it's a little bit weird because we're having some sort of heat wave in england right now i think for the next week it's supposed to be like 24 25 degrees which is around I think that's around 77 degrees Fahrenheit which is for us uh, very hot and especially for me because I do not like the heat one bit I do not fare well with Sun I burn easily and I just do not like the heat so uh, it's not a good week for me especially with this cold and it doesn't make much sense that in like the hottest week of the the year so far unofficially I've just made that up it probably isn't but it's a pretty hot week and I've got a cold which is just ridiculous how those two things go together and uh, look at this game by the way my teammates I'm not sure what they were doing I've got a VSAT up in the air and it seems like I'm the only one that is taking advantage taking advantage of those that are spawning back near C and my teammates are all like in the building near B and I'm not sure what they're doing uh, they're not helping out whatsoever at one point they actually managed to capture the A flag and I have to make a trek all the way over back to the other side of the map just to help my teammates capture it and then I have to run all the way back it's ridiculous but anyway let me move on to something else to talk about this next week is going to be a little bit crazy for me for two reasons one uh, on Saturday or it may even be Friday I'm not sure uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get an invite to go down to Gfinity if you don't know what Gfinity is it's basically a LAN event like uh, MLG Hanno Anaheim, uh, MLG Anaheim which was last week, it's basically you know, a Call of Duty tournament and it's an invite only one. There's only 8 Call of Duty teams going and uh, you know it's not open to spectators, you have to get an invite from the people running it and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get one uh, from a couple of people. So uh, hopefully that's going to happen, so I'll be spending my weekend down in London uh, with a few people, mainly Benny and Ali and I think Chris Trout is going to be there as well. I believe Chris Trout is actually... Um, uh, commentating a few games as well which is pretty crazy because uh, I you know used to watch his videos back in 2000 I believe it was like 2008 2009 uh, so that's pretty cool that he's commenting uh, commentating there as well and then on the Tuesday after that weekend I'm gonna have to go down to the flat that I'm moving into next month uh, to get the internet ex installed so that's pretty crazy as well because um, I'm gonna have to be there I'll probably do uh, a setup video when I've properly moved into the flat because it's going to be all nice and clean and I'm going to be living there on my own so it's going to be a lot easier to do videos the only downside of living in the flat is that uh, the internet is awful I'm going to have to go for my internet now and if you don't know what my internet is now it's fiber optic so I get 105 download like uh, pretty much a 10 upload it's like 9.8 uh, at its best and like a I think it's like an 8 ping or something crazy and I'm going from that to a 5 download and like a 0.7 upload or something uh, which isn't going to be good after spending a year on fiber optic but you know I'm still excited to move out it's gonna be a lot easier to do live commentaries and uh, uh, whatnot at late at night because at the moment I can't do a video past you know nine o'clock when uh, my little brother goes to bed uh, because obviously I'll wake him up which is unfair on him uh, and when I move out to the flat I'll be able to do a video whenever I want if I'm awake at 4 a.m. and I feel like doing a zombies let's play or you know play through I'll be able to do a zombies playthrough which is really um, convenient I guess because I am awake until like 5 a.m. most nights and that's when I've you know that's when I have most of my energy but this 
gameplay is coming to an end now. I've kind of gone a little bit of a tear. There's only 30 seconds left, and you can see uh, that my Unstoppables are still popping up on the screen. I'm still not sure how I managed to get 11,000 score on this because if you're playing Hijacked and you get 10,000 score, you know, you've had a good game. You've went pretty ham, ham sandwich, and chances are you've got more than 1,000 score per minute. And Drone is just such a big map that it's crazy that I managed to get 11,000 score this game, which I don't know how that happened. And uh, I'm also a bit disappointed that the game wasn't, uh, you know, a little bit extended because I would have got that 51 gun streak right there to break my record. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. If you've enjoyed it, I would appreciate a like rating. And I will speak to you all a little bit later on or tomorrow with a new video. See you then, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.